In this class, we will try to solve another problem on Hertz dipole. Let us see what is given in the problem. A vertical Hertz dipole radiates 1 kilowatt power. Find the electric field and the pointing vector at a distance of 10 kilometer from the dipole in the horizontal plane passing through the dipole. What is the direction of electric field at the observation point? So basically, we need to find the electric field and we need to find the pointing vector, right? So both the quantities we have to find it out. Let us see that how I can find the, the electric field and pointing vector. What I know about the power in case of Hertz dipole? Power is nothing but, it is given by, it is nothing but 40 pi square i naught square dl by lambda the whole square. This is what is power. Okay. But the power which is radiating in the direction is given as 1 kilowatt, right? So I can take this, so this will be 1 kilowatt equal to 40 pi square i naught square dl by lambda the whole square, right? If I simplify this, I will get i naught dl by lambda. This quantity I will try to find it out, which comes out to be if you solve this, you will get 5 by pi. We will use this quantity. Now, what is an electric field? We are bothered about electric field magnitude, right? So, we will be not taking care of the direction, we are bothered about electric field magnitude. So, the electric field would be given by, if I want to find it out the electric field, it will be I naught dl beta square by 4 pi omega epsilon r. This is what is an electric field. Okay. So, what I can do is, how can I solve this? It is nothing but, I can rearrange this, which comes out to be I naught by 4 pi dl. Beta square, I will write it as, beta square, I will write it as beta into beta by omega epsilon r. But if you observe, what is beta by omega? Right? We know that phase velocity is nothing but omega by beta, right? So, it is nothing but if I look here, beta by omega is vice versa, right? So, beta by omega is nothing but 1 by c, yes or no? Because it is we are talking about a free space, so this comes out to be beta by omega comes out to be 1 by c, so c will go down, so this will be replaced with a new equation i naught dl and beta I can substitute 2 pi by lambda, so this will be nothing but 4 pi epsilon r c into 2 pi by lambda, right. I will rearrange the equation such that I already have i naught dl by lambda and rest all value I all know it. So, I can solve this. So, what I will do is, I will take i naught dl by lambda all together and what is left is nothing but this pi. So, if you observe, this will become 2, this pi but get cancelled, right. So, this is nothing but on this 2 will also go. So, this will be nothing but 1 by 2 epsilon r c, right. Everything I will be, everything is knowing, right. What is the radius here? Radius we are talking about 10 kilometers, right. So, 10 kilometers c we know that, epsilon also we know that, right. So, if I solve this, on solving, I will get this is nothing but 30 milliwatt per, so milliwatt per mit. This is what you will get the electric field, right. On solving of this, you can substitute the values, you can use the calculator and you can get this value. Once I got the electric field, the next part is finding the pointing vector, right. So, that would be given by, P would be given by mod E square by eta, right. And you can substitute what is e square? It is comes out to be, this comes out to be nothing but 30 into 10 to the power minus 3, right, the whole square divided by eta. What is eta? Eta is nothing but your 120 by. You can simplify that and you can get the power also. So, we have able to find it out the electric field as well as the pointing vector in this case. We will see more numerical in the future videos.